Anna Maslany, Jordan Gavaris, Christian Brown, Kevin Anchard, Catherine Alexandre, John Fawcett, and Graham Manson! This is the open black of your dreams, and they're here to dance for you. And to Nice hat. Nice hat. Well done. Very nice. Twinsies. 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 I want one. Oh. Yeah, where well, they're, they're, nope, they might be sold out. I think Tatiana got the last one. Yep. Probably. We're going we're gonna to work on that, Christian. We're going to work on that. I'll make Are you going to drop your pants for us again this year? <laughs> drop trout. Drop oh. trout. Drop I, I I'm not forgot. Trying to make, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I forgot to put underwear on, so it would be oh. inappropriate. Drop trout. Drop trout. Okay. Drop trout. I love that everyone in these audiences literally want me to get shut down from illegality. That's what you want me this to do. This is a children's museum, people. For crying in the night. Drop. Tr <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you all so much for carving out in your very busy schedules at San Diego Comic Con to come and spend 45 minutes with all these lovely people. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you so much for that. And thank you, thank you for continuing to do that year after year. We know it's super, super, super crazy. So with that said, uh, uh, clearly all the people with uh, cameras in, in their hands won't be able to ask a question because they can't raise a hand. Uh, who actually has a question? I'm going to go right here, right here. Tattoos on the arms Hi. and awesome silver Hi. hair. Hi. <laughs> thank you all for coming. Um, I love the show, and I love um, the relationship that we got to see develop between Kasima and... Um, I'm forgetting names now. Uh, <laughs> not Delphine, no. Um, your daughter. <laughs> and Kira. Kira. It's okay. Nobody's going to lynch you after this. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> Nobody lynch her uh, after this. No, please. Continue, hon. Uh, based on her tattoos and her explaining her tattoos to Kira. Uh, so much so that I, I have a reminder of one here. <laughs> awesome. That's Permanently. Cool. It says 324B21 in yeah. binary code. <laughs> no way. That's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. That's oh, really cool. So uh, my question to all of you, and you too, Zach, I guess, is if... Yes. <laughs> Take if, this, Zach. If any, of you, if any of you could get or had to get an orphan black tattoo, what would you do? Ooh, solid. That's a great question. Solid. Anyone want to start? Graham, you want to start? A giant Helena on my back. Like, just huge. <laughs> the wings. Huge. Like, the wings? super detailed? Oh, the picture of Helena. Super detailed, just your, just your head. <laughs> just, just your head. That's hair. super creepy. Yeah, know, it's like it's like what was that dude from Jackass? It would be just oh, like Steve O. <laughs> yeah, like, like just like Steve O. Oh, so I was okay. gonna say like tattoo. I was gonna tattoo the wings. The wings, yeah, the wings yeah, would be cool. That would no, that's be way too awesome. good. No, no, I won't mind to be like tats, really tats, oh, tats face on your back. Everything. You want to have that tattoo where everyone looks at it and goes, "What the fuck were you thinking?" <laughs> right. John, John, tattoo. Uh, well, you know, if it if it's not tattoo uh, Helena's uh, uh, wings, then I would have to go with um uh you know something to do with matt frewer's like the maybe the severed head of matt frewer i'm sorry yeah. you thought his was creepy yeah, yeah i would go with the, the severed decomposing head of matt frewer we're learning a lot about you right now john yeah a and lot. i would do it kind of like right on my like right, kind of maybe blowing up my neck here what do you think you guys no no uh, you know what you do you if you want a severed decomposed head you do you Catherine, what would be your tattoo I think it would probably be Helena's stick figure. That's what I yeah. was thinking. I actually one, made crew gifts for everyone this year that were Christmas ornaments that had Helena's stick figure, like bloody question mark. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's funny. That's really cool. Kevin? Uh, I would either do uh, probably all of the botched 10 codes that Sarah as Beth did in season one. She's trying to do the 10 for one for Roger. Roger. Oh, nice. I put a couple of those on. <laughs> um, or, or I'd uh, do Art's line from season one where he says, uh, I love art. I put that somewhere <laughs> on my body for sure. Kristen? I think I would go with my favorite quote from the series just along my arm. Have a shitty day. <laughs> All the way down the arm. I think that'd be really classy or one of Felix's penis drawings. Phallus. Sorry, phallus drawings. Phallus. phallus. Yeah. Or a rocket ship. Or a rocket ship. Yeah, who said that? <laughs> Well, you're my soulmate. It's like you've watched the show. It's amazing. Delphine, Delphine, but just her hair. Yeah. Like a hair yeah. silhouette? Like a hair silhouette of just Evelyn's hair. Or the Letus one. That's my, like, that's the one that I would, like, actually consider doing. If I was not myself. The severed, 
the severed head of the Lee the Swan? <laughs> yes. This, oh, Stop no. trying to bring severed yeah. heads into this job. Everything is severed heads with you. Well, you know. there, it's man. a children's it was, it, museum. <laughs> drop trout, drop trout. Tra <laughs> Tatiana. I would just get a tail. A tail? Yeah. I get a tail. real tail. Yes. Stole. Olivier's tail. Yeah. Right? An Argentinian biohack? Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Next question. Uh, I saw that hand go up first. You won. <laughs> you, have, you have fans. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hey, that girl um, got to I'm, ask a question. Uh, hi, I'm Victoria, and this is my sister, Lexi. Hi. Hi, um, and Tat, I just want to say huge congratulations for your Emmy nomination. You like more than. <laughs> If we do this long enough, it will happen. It's yeah. called yeah, the secret, it's guys. Inevitable. It's the secret. <laughs> so my question is for Tatiana and Catherine. Um, you guys do such an amazing job. I wanted to know, what was the most challenging clone to play this past season? <laughs> While you're thinking about that, can I just say, how fucking cool is it that Catherine gets to be on this panel right yeah. now? Yeah! Entire dynamic. Glad to be here. This is awesome. You deserve to be here. Yeah. Thank you. She talks about you non fucking stop. All she talks about is She's how awesome a you are. Well, yeah, she is that <laughs> You're too. You're amazing. She is that too. Um, I think Rachel this season was really hard. I think Rachel for the past couple seasons has been really hard. Um, physically, there's like a very different physicality kind of every episode for her. Whether it's she's progression. Yeah, and and the the. Um, I can't remember the name. <laughs> the aphasia um, that she has. Yeah. Uh, you know. It's okay. You can just ask her. She yeah. doesn't know either. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Calm down. But just um, the charting that progress has been a bit challenging. And also her emotional journey is nuts. Yeah, yeah. she's just had a lot. I and think. the shoes hurt. The shoes hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beth, too. I think, like, figuring out Beth and those first few episodes and, and the, the progression of, of, of how down the spiral she is and how to portray that just physically and and because well, the that, effects of, of everything that she's on you played that first i think the first clone scene we did with mika you yeah. played oh no wait no i was mika first you were mika first right which was good because yeah. <laughs> yeah and you that was the first time you'd ever played mk mm -hmm. that was a big that was a big day our yeah. very first clone scene this pl season. Pl yeah. Plunge right yeah. in with a giant technical a clone, clone scene season? and with a, you know, a big new accent and brand new clone and holy crap. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. Holy moly. Next question. Oh, right down here, right in front. I don't have Oh, no, no, you need to use it because the people at home need to hear what Hello. you have to say. I love Helena. Um, I'm not sure why, because she's so dangerous. Why? <laughs> why are you looking at me? This is creeping me out. I appreciate um, that you love her. Why is she so popular considering how dangerous she is? Mm. Yeah, I want to hang out with her really bad. <laughs> well, she's been on an amazing journey. I mean, she was the most... Um, you talk about nurture. She was uh, the most disadvantaged and beaten down as a, um, in, her, in her upbringing. And when we met her, she was a psycho killer. And John, I mean, that's all she was when we had the concept. Um, and then it's really about her emotional journey and, and what she's become. So early on in the process of Helena, the, we, were, we were stumbling this. Do you remember this? We were stumbling around a little bit in the first season, the writers, about what to do with this character. And we brought Tatiana into the writer's room and she said that, <clears throat> that Helena, everything Helena does proceeds from a place of love. As in lack of love, she never had it. And it was like a light bulb for the writers. And that, that took Helena on her trajectory. Um, and I think that that's uh, why um, she's lovable. <laughs> plus, plus there's a sort of childlike innocence about her that, that, uh, that I think everyone loves. And, and there's a, you know, this a, a weird sense of wonderment to the character. And uh, it's kind of fun seeing a character like that that could snap at any moment and kill you. You know? It is, it's kind of fun. Super fun. And it's fun to act with as well. <laughs> it is fun to act with Helena because she is so unhinged and you don't know what's going to happen next. And the way you improv as well 
Improving as Helena is a dangerous, scary thing. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. Catherine, Tatiana, you want to add to that? No, it's, it's fun exploring that scary, complicated relationship, because I don't know if people remember or not, in season one, Helena shot Art. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Yeah, right. Helena <laughs> shot Art in the neck. So I don't know if people remember that or not. Yeah, I rematch, going, uh, rematch, oh, rematch. Yeah, so uh, so that's always fun. And then having her in the apartment eating all my sardines and mustard was uh, was a fun thing to sort of reconcile that. Drinking that difference. with pickle juice. But but she is. There's an endearing quality about her, and even if she shoots you, you can't help but love her. You know. <laughs> I've had so it's many not, relationships kind of like, like that. that. It's incredible. I can't. Like being married. I was saying. Yes. <laughs> Uh, next question, uh, that gentleman right over on the edge, right there. Hi, my name's Rodney. Um, season, or the series is coming to an end, which is really sad, but uh, what kind of props or sets might you guys be taking from the set? <laughs> Everyone wants yeah, to know. Everybody yeah. wants to know. Question. I didn't Very know this was time. a tradition that... <laughs> no, 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 no just one entire set, set are you bringing home? Oh, we're all taking Felix's law. Yeah, we all want all to yeah. Felix's Well, law. everybody seems to want it, so it's going to be one hell of a battle to see who actually walks John, in. John, you're taking the comic book story. You're taking the rabbit hole. Well, that's why the rabbit hole was invented, really, was to be raided at the end by of the you. series. By you. Yes, <laughs> by me. I get first dibs. I just want so. that really crappy elliptical machine in Allison and Donnie's basement. Treacherous. Because i got to work these Donnie pounds off as soon as this show is done. I want one of those Hendrix portraits, man. Yeah, Fan, the family, the family portraits. portraits those are so good. If you haven't seen them, look them, look them up online. There's some good, terrible They're so We're all portraits. barefoot in them. That's, yeah. that's the detail. We're all wearing matching most. light blue t-shirts and jeans and barefoot. Bare feet. And just posing as a family. My parents have portraits like that. And I'm... <laughs> Of course they do. I think I want Felix's telephone booth closet. Yeah, oh. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I want that, his art. The art would be great, I want too. your you art. I want oh, your art? <laughs> yeah, I want, take art home. I want art. you art, too. Art's all, you, all you have to do is ask, bro. <laughs> it's getting spicy up here. It's done. <laughs> drop, <laughs> drop, <Darcy>. drop. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. Um, I'll never leave that down. Next question. Yeah, right there on the aisle. Right there. Hi. Um, first of all, I feel a little bit more talented just by breathing the same air as you all, so thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and second of all, it's totally criminal that you haven't won an Emmy yet, just so you know. Um, and I'm just wondering when you're, you're so amazing, Tatiana, in, in all the different characters that my friend and I sometimes are going, oh my God, I hope Helena comes to Comic-Con. Oh, wait, it's the same person. Um, <laughs> We have to remind ourselves. So when you're, when you're in character, do you ever find yourself having moments where you slip into other characters? Or do you all, when you're uh, acting against her, find that you sometimes feel like you're acting to the other character, if that makes sense? Um, I think, yeah, I, spe I especially struggle when we're doing a clone scene and there's a quick changeover and the characters are, yeah, I don't know if it's like, well, I, f I struggled with like Sarah and Tony in the clone scene because there's a similarity in their kind of pace and they're sort of uh, where they're grounded a little bit. And I was still kind of like having feelings for you. And like, <laughs> we were just like, I was trying to be Sarah and I was just like, what is this relationship? Um, twisted. Twisted. Um, twisted sister. Yeah. But yeah, so sometimes there are definitely uh, mannerisms that cross over or I find I'm echoing what I did on the other side subtly. I'm, I'm so aware of what I was doing on the other side that there's like a part of my body that's kind of ghosting it a little bit. Um, but, it, but it's, it, I work, obviously try to work against that, but yeah, it does happen for sure. Her psychiatry bills are very high, <laughs> very high. Does anybody want to comment on when you were performing and how her switching in and out of those different clones? Piece of cake. <laughs> Honest to God, for us on the other side, it's a piece of cake because Tat does so much work that all you have to do is just show up and just act opposite what she's given you. And, and because it is so specific, because it is so uh, clearly delineated that you just have to respond to what's, to what's being, to what's... We have a chip delivery going on. You can't tell. Apparently, Helena like did a, come a to Comic-Con. ninja just came in. <laughs> I didn't Mel even Melissa, see it. Melissa, the chips. The, the, by the way, that's our friend Melissa. She's uh, our, you, our Melissa. friend who is Melissa. literally just coming to have a... Melissa, the next time you have a chip delivery, yeah. give yourself a, do yourself a favor. Just come right along the front. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. 
I don't well, know why the fuck she, yeah, I want some of these. Goddamn I don't know why she got chips. Cat got chips and like, a hat. What the hell is she? Chips, chips and a hat. Chips and a hat. Oh, oh, what the? And she didn't drop trout. Drop trout. Who's supposed to drop trout again? How about someone... Pesem lays. Someone new this year should drop trout. You better, someone with a better body than me you better, should drop trout. You better stop looking at me, man. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Let's go, Zach. Oh, I got a in the head. Yeah. Next question. Oh, wow, that was quick. You guys are like fucking locked and loaded. You're like, bah, bah, bah. I'm going lamb head. I think it's a lamb. I don't know. Yes, MK, MK for black. Well sheep. done, sheep. Well, you're wearing, you're wearing it back here, and I can't tell if it's a lamb or not. Sorry. So, actually, picking it back off of that question, um, I'm really impressed with all the accents you can do, Tatiana. So, it was a boring actor question. Were you. You know, did you grow up doing accents? Was it a dialect coach? How long did it take you to like, kind of get that process? Uh, we have an awesome dialect coach on our show called John Nellis, and he's worked with Jordan and I since season one. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have always been interested in them. I, I love languages and I love how people speak and I like imitating people. Jordan's an incredible mimic yes. and like has- Bam. Yeah. <laughs> is that, was oh, that's that ridiculous. But <laughs> so I think nice. some people have like an innate ability, but I feel like I have to work quite hard at the, you know, I don't know, the London accent, all of that is still really, it's still, it's, it's still a process. It still feels like I'm trying to figure it out. Well, and that's English? I thought you were New Jersey with that <laughs> accent. I know, oh. it's so bad. It's just weird because everything's so specific. Like you think, English accent, you're just doing an English accent, but then you actually look at like a regional dialect map of England and there's like five billion accents specific to streets sometimes. And pubs, different and pubs <laughs> have different accents. And depending on the alcohol you drink. Yes. <laughs> Is it lager? You know, Is it a proper cold pint? Up. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not to be under or overstated, but I mean, I know that back when John and Graham were talking about the male clone and uh, I mean, I hid. I, mean, I don't think you guys ever looked in my direction, thank God. But I mean, I, I hid to, and hoped that it wasn't me because accents are kryptonite to me. I, like, I, I can't do Show that. us. <laughs> you're you're the I was, I was, I was just doing a, an English accent. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. So, I mean, I was sold. Yeah. I was <laughs> sold. You were born in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Come on. What do you, what do you want me Come to do? Come on, do it. Okay, I'm going to drop trout. No, 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 no. Children's Museum, Children's no, 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 no. Museum. Children's Sooner Museum. drop no, no, no. trial than do the action. But it's an amazing, it's an am <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. It's an amazing thing that these guys do. That's all I'm trying to say. Boom. Next nice. question. I saw, I see a bloody eye over there. And I think that's cool and yeah. freaky. Oh, hi, Miriam. Oh, hello, Miriam. 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 Yes. Uh, so I was really blown away by the Kasima Sarah Evie Cho scene. Um, where you guys were passing props back and forth. The dental, the dental office yeah. scene. Yeah. yeah. How did you do that when Catherine wasn't in frame? Like my mouth was in frame. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's my mouth. It's her. Is it? It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Weird. It is. It's often my, off. Oh, yeah. That's it's exactly. my mouth that's on so Tat's weird. face. Yeah. What? Yeah. No what? Way. Yeah. It I, is. I, I, Don't get dirty. Yeah. Don't get dirty. <laughs> Oh, There's an app for that. Often with our visual effects, uh, uh, you know, they'll, they'll wind up cutting off, like use a, like Catherine's arm and her leg and uh, use body part, we'll take body parts off of Catherine. All in a day's work. And map them on to Tatiana. And so it's a, it, you know, if you see the kind of the, you know, if you, the behind the scenes elements of that uh, often. Often it's all, we're just stealing your body parts. Yeah. Yeah. And then but we're in that very case, normal it was so show. It was weird seeing your mouth. Yeah. yeah. And Did they was, pay uh, you for that? <laughs> what? Hey, you're not not, let's, let's not get into the legal yes. of things. Yeah. That's going to make Volunteer. it awkward. Next question uh, Fedora Man. It's kind of a Fedora Great cosplay. I love Fedora Man. Fedora Man's my favorite too. Fedora Man! I'm hiding this horrible man bun, that's what it is. Yes! Nice, oh, nice. Man bun. Well, at least yeah. you've owned that it's horrible. Thank yeah. you, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so everyone here is fantastic at their craft. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. I can't wait um, not only to see season five, but to see what everybody does in the next thing. And uh, even you, Zach. I mean, Thanks, Fedora Man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's what I do. I just come and bear compliments. Um, <laughs> so uh, 
What I want to know is, um, can everyone miscast Tatiana, who can play almost anything, but what's something that she can't play? Oh. Go for it. Challenge. What's that? Oh, challenge. Oh, challenge. challenge. Oh, sorry, like, it's who, French. Who is challenge? Is that from? <laughs> That's who she can't play. Yeah. Challenge. You, you were playing a, a stripper. You were playing Asian. a sprinkler like 20 minutes ago. Before we got onto the Comic Con panel, you were doing your best impression of a sprinkler, and it was really good. <laughs> I think no, that pretty like, much says that she can play know, anything. Man. I, think, if she can play I anything. don't know if there's anything. I really don't. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think yeah, that's you have it. To go, yeah. uh, yes, what, you're right over there in the glasses. Yeah, let's give her a microphone. Um, I just had uh, one question and something to say after. Um, the question is, so you talk a lot about dance, and I was wondering, um, each character, you say, has an internal rhythm. What would your internal rhythm beat. And also, I brought some drawings that I was able to do. Leslie. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Leslie Vamos, who did so, all those amazing characters. She does, oh, yeah. she does every single Hi. character oh. on the show. Yeah. Those oh, you're great. Wait, 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 wait. Hang oh, on a great. second. Um, do you have a drawing of me? Um, I just wanted to give. <laughs> sorry. sorry, I didn't hear you, honestly. I'm like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Bye, Zach. I'll send it. <laughs> In a bit of a daze. Um, yeah, there were some of the drawings I was able to do while having Orphan Black cheering me on in the background because, yeah, that's an awesome show. So I don't know if you want to... Oh, you can hand those to a volunteer, right? Right, yeah, yeah. just hand this right sure. over. Up. Thank you. So, that's very pass sweet. It Thank it you. Up. Well, um, Thank my, you. What, what, was oh, what is everybody's internal rhythm, I wonder, on this panel? I'd love to know. Or, or, or maybe specifically, like... A song? Like, yeah, like liking your rhythm to, like, a type of music. Like, what would the type of music be? I mean, you have so many different types of music for each of your characters. But. Currently, I feel like it's... Like Moombaton. <laughs> Do you know what Moombaton is? It's like a reg. It's like it's like reggae music with like EDM in it. It's very abrasive. That's what's going on inside of me. Jordan. Uh, so uh, when I walk down the street, I kind of I have the theme of Thirty Rock in my head. <laughs> but like not the opening theme, but like the da 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 da. da. That's, That's just so like, true. and I'm just like. <laughs> you do you. You do you. <laughs> Liz Lemon is really who I am. <laughs> Christian, there's an online video of a guy who's like singing along to the Golden Girls theme song. Yes. I love that so much. I got it on my phone. I love to listen to that. His like remix. Just Google uh, Golden Girls remix, and you'll get this guy singing along with the best soul voice oh, ever. Yeah. Just clear That's my jam. history afterward. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin? Yeah, I play the guy with no sense of humor on the show. Uh, so, um, I, the, my internal rhythm is like a lot of old soul, like Bill Withers and old Motown and stuff like that. That's what Art listens to in his cruiser when he's by himself, missing Beth. Bill Withers. Oh. Catherine? <laughs> Oh. oh, you got him crying. Grandma's head. I like to think that I'm kind of like a smooth jazz type of gal, but I'm also trying to teach myself how to play the piano, which I've never tried, so I'm playing a lot of, like, the first Noel. So that's <laughs> in my head right now. Hey, it's better than chopsticks, let's yeah. be honest. Uh, John and Graham, wh when you're writing, when you're creating, what is something that you kind of well, rock out to? Or well, you know, because i got to get jacked before going to set. So I couldn't tell. I gotta get you're jacked. You're I gotta severed be, heads I gotta that be, are decomposing. I gotta I be have. energetic all day long. You have to and be I gotta, shaking so much, I gotta, you can't I, even hold the camera. I gotta go and I gotta go, I gotta go here and I gotta be the director, right? And I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. So I listen to, I, I, I like to pull out the whites, you know, to the Rob Zombie. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. I got the Rob Zombie. Living dead what a, girl. Yeah. Dig what, dig what, dig what, dig what a surprise <laughs> with the severed heads. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, I'm so shocked. So that really, that gets me jacked. And then I can, I can really, I feel really creative. Yeah. Just so you know, that's, that's me. Rock and roll. And Graham? Um, in, the, uh, in the writer's room, we have this, like, go-to uh, um, YouTube video that's the theme from 2001 done by a high school band, and it's so off-key. Oh, yes! You know that one? Yeah. It is, like, Google that. We put it on for inspiration, because it is like, it's amazing. They, it, they are just going for it. <laughs> going for Wait, it. So what you're saying, ultimately, is that the inspiration for the show of Orphan Black <laughs> is an off-key high school marching band? That's really, yes. 
doing nice. 2001. This is a secret to success. We've just found it. Yeah. We've just found it. Uh, next question. Oh, right here. Right here in the orange. Oh, it's another twofer. Wow. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> and I have one for you. What? Oh, oh, you do not. Free. I'm aware of that. I can hand that over. Oh, my God, you guys are the best. Put but, but you have to put on a trowel in order to put it on. Yeah, put it on. That's the... That's oh! The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, shit. I can't feel my face yeah. when I went to... Drop your glasses. But I love it, but I love it. Children's, Children's Museum. Love it, but Children's, I love Museum. It. Children's Museum. Does it matter? Property of Allison Hendrick. <laughs> That's alert. You better rock that right now. That is nothing but awesome. The nice thing is, after you put this on, you can completely blend in in the crowd. No one will ever find you. Yes! Yes! Somebody free me, please. This is amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And what is your question, darling? Uh, my question is for... Oh, your collective question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like we've talked about it, we've decided, this is the question, let's go. I kind of ran it by her and she said it was good. <laughs> but um, I'm Miriam, by the way. Stephanie. Hi. Um, nice to you. Thank you. Yeah. So you did a musical this season and it was amazing. Um, if you do a musical in season five, what would you like it to be? And do you think Donnie would be included? Yeah, definitely. Christian what, you want to hear these pipes? <laughs> He's a crazy good singer. Nothing happened there. <laughs> Uh, terrible Al Green. <laughs> terrible. It was. Al just called me. Al just texted me. He said, stop. <laughs> oh, sorry, Al. What? Is this live feed yeah, to Al Green? Yeah, Al I'm Green. sorry, dude. When we were out the other night, what was that song you sang at the karaoke bar? Uh, oh. Do you remember? Uh, Thanks for was, inviting me to it karaoke. It was slow. It was in Toronto. Was oh, you've been up in Toronto. Whatever, too. dude. Oh, man. I'm making friends. Oh, did you go, did you go to the, uh, the... What is that karaoke joint? Oh, the, the office. The father's office or father... Never mind. What were you singing? <laughs> I don't remember what I was singing. I, we, every it, time we get together, and there's usually at San Diego Comic Con, actually, we end up doing something really dumb at a party. It was and sexual it gets into healing. The, you saw oh, sexual, sexual healing. healing. Marvin right. Gaye? Yeah. Baby! What? I got sick this morning. Oh. A sea was storming inside of me. What? That's all you're getting. I started Whoa. high. I couldn't continue. I started pretty high. I don't know how to feel about all this. I think you do. Uh, you got to feel sexual. I think you do. Because <laughs> when you get that feeling, you need... You need... Sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got another question? Uh, I'm going to go over here. That gentleman... Right... Wow, you, you're so dedicated. You're like, I'm taking my hat off and I'm using my hat as a prop. And I just threw my hat off my head. That's what tequila does, kids. Thank you. What's on your bucket list for life? Ooh. Wait, wait, just one item, right? <laughs> one item, one bucket list item, I Graham. have so many oh, buckets. Go, go. You have so many buckets. <laughs> Graham, starting with you. Uh, the South Pacific Islands. I'm fascinated with naval history, and someday I'm going to go to Pitcairn Island. Wow. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I just really want to get season five done. You know? <laughs> Guys, I, that's it. I'm not thinking about anything else right now. Just so you're saying season seven. Season six? Yeah. Right. Uh, I just want to think of season five right now. That's just my bucket list. Finish right. season that's five it. and yeah, then cut off some people's heads. That's what, and then it's done and then yeah, you got nothing to do? No, no, I mean, then you can just I'm, check I'm out. I'm retiring. You can, you can come out. to pick Karen Island with me. Gather. Oh, man. Like Broadway? Yeah. yeah. But not singing off Broadway. <laughs> but you can still do Broadway without singing. There's yeah, plenty yeah. of like drama. Of course, play. yeah. Uh, Kevin, I I wanted to go skydiving, but I You but should. I, but I did that a few years ago, so uh, it's checked off. Wow. So I think so oh, why we humble brag. About yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. That's it. I'm done. Bucket list is checked off. <laughs> well, should we all go skydiving? I mean, should we all go skydiving and then we post some videos and Instagrams of like, yo, it's open black up in the air right now. I would do that. Right? I'm in. I'm in. Is there a good uh, Scott Tatiana's yeah, like, no, I'm not jumping out of a plane. That's too bad. It's, it's exhilarating. The network would have something to say about that. It's exhilarating. Christian? Mine's kind of weird. I just thought of it now. I haven't had this thought in a long time since I was a, a young lad. I've always wanted to... <laughs> oh, man. 
be a member of the crew of a tall ship crossing the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> is that weird? That's weird. I want to do that. Wait, a tall ship? On like an old school tall ship. What is just a tall sailing. ship? Like a sail I wanna ship? I want to sail, yeah. I want to sail, sail across the Atlantic. Schooner. The Atlantic. Like, what, and vomit a, a thousand times on the way over. I don't get, I don't get seasick. You want to reenact son of a the bitch. Titanic, don't you? Not a Titanic. I want, I want like a tall ship with scene. sails. I just it, don't want it to turn into White Squall. <laughs> really current <laughs> reference I just dropped right there. It's uh, not a schooner. I was with you. I was with you. Thank you. Who did, by the way, who didn't want to be... I mean, if you're a dude, it was a dude movie, but who didn't want to be on White Squall until the end when they all Yeah. Died? I mean, when, that was sad. When they that get sad, into the squall. before that, it was yeah. super cool. Yeah. Uh, me. I oh, okay. my God, it's honestly. It's been 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Stay off the internet for those. Uh, Jordan? Uh, mine, mine's like a kid. I, have, I was thinking the same thing, too. I was like, what do I want to do? Because one of them was like fantasy. I'm like, I want to go UFO chasing in the Solomon Islands until I remembered that that's probably not a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> some so, people would say it is. Some people would, would yeah. Um, I kind of want to go tornado chasing. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I have a fear, like I'm afraid of them terribly. And I kind of feel like if I just like looked at one for a long time. But you want to be on the, you want to be on the Helen Hunt team, not the Carrie yes. Elwes team. Yeah, that, no, that would no, be, no. that's no. where it goes wrong, guys. I'm on the Did like Helen, it wasn't, oh, it wasn't, um, Oh, Philip Seymour Bill Paxton. Yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Bill Seymour Paxton. Hoffman. Yeah. John C. Riley. Dude, as well. Twister. That was, a it was great. Legit. Was it John C. Riley? It was legit. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Philip Seymour Hoffman was. Wait, was John C. Riley? No, John C. Riley. Was he not part of the crew? Isn't John C. Riley in everything, really? Yes, he is. I mean, on a philosophical you just don't know. level. He played the truck. <laughs> he played the truck. <laughs> the beat up RV. <laughs> Sweet Barry Wine. Sweet Barry Wine. Best role ever. Tatiana. Um, it's sort of in the same vein. I was thinking, like, I want to meet a dinosaur. Like, that would, be, <laughs> that would be my absolute dream is to ride on the back of a brontosaurus. But, um, but I think similarly, maybe, like, get very close, but to a very safe shark. Yeah, that was because the other I'm one I was so thinking. so scared of sharks. Yeah. In every body. Would you water. touch it? Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Just it? kind of touch it. <laughs> feet, so, yeah. Would you yeah. it? so no. you're looking for a safe shark, and you're looking for a safe tornado. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And neither one well. of them wants to jump oh out of a God, plane. No. Where you Our have... dreams are Sharknado. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Like, why? That's the cast of that's Sharknado so 5, true. for sure. We're gonna get Ian Zaring in here. It's gonna be great, guys. Oh it's, gonna be, it's gonna be super. Uh, Y'all, we have what time for one more question. It's gotta be the best question ever, no pressure. Best question ever. I see dangling, but well, they're actually like dangling their fingers over here. I'm gonna go pink shirt. <laughs> Spirit fingers. Pink shirt. I mean, it's gotta be more than a hand. It's gotta be something more than a hand. Yeah. I mean, beyond what. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes! Yeah. See? Great t-shirt. She's like, bring it. I got the question. <laughs> Let me the, drop some knowledge. The scene where the Hendrix house is written, um, was it specifically written that you'd be tied up like a pig or did you lose a bet? <laughs> so not when the cops come and bust the party, but when... You're like specifically on the floor. Yeah, and I'm tied up, hogtied. Yeah. Oh, I did not lose a bet. That's just them torturing me. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, they love to put me in compromising situations every season. That one was pretty scary. Getting hogtied, yeah. But it was a little bit of levity there at the yeah, end. Yeah, when Helena comes in and Man, you calls make me those a little squeak, pig. And you make those little squeaky sounds. Can you do, like, just do a little. What the squeaky, squeaky sound? sounds? No, I can't you did merely that. just replicate <laughs> the emotions that I was going through as, without being hogtied. I'm method. After that, after the, the you know, it, it's so intense and dangerous, and there's blood, and there's Helena. Oh, I think I was like, because <laughs> yeah. I have a gag in my mouth, yeah. right? Yeah, those yeah. are whimpers. Yeah. I was whimpering. It is true, though. We do like to put Christian in compromising situations. And you're Please, such a don't good stop. Sport. You're very, you know, you're all game for it. That's what the great thing about these actors is that anything that we write, uh, any twisted, crazy, slightly dirty thing that we come up with, they're all game for trying it out and going no for shame. it. No shame. And uh, it's not just no shame, it's no fear. And that's, uh, it's an impressive uh, uh, trait that you all have. I love you. Oh, I, mean, I, I, love I love you. you. And, I love you. And, and, and by so the way, great. and by the way, I, not that I was asked, but I'm gonna answer anyway. 
Uh, one of my bucket list things is to be on at least one episode of Orphan Black. That's yes. what I oh. like to do. Yes. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm round of applause to our Orphan Black panel. You can drop your mics, you can go backstage, go have a drink. Keep it going for Orphan Black, everybody. They're so busy. They're so lovely. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Keep it going. Now get out of here. You get out of here. Get out of here, Graham. Lead the way. Lead the way, get out. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Christian, you look great in bright orange. You look great in bright orange. It really brings out your fake tan. <laughs> Was that fun? Fantastic. Please, nobody lynch this woman on the way out. It was a brain fart, guys. We all have them. I have them on a daily basis. Uh, thank you so much. By the way, I'm sure Eric told you, you guys raised $4,000 for Operation Smile. You just saved 16 kids' lives. Uh, I hope you have been enjoying yourself at Nerd HQ. I hope you continue to enjoy yourself at Nerd HQ. And if you're not at Nerd HQ, I hope you continue to enjoy yourself in San Diego at San Diego Comic-Con and wherever else you might travel. God bless you guys. We have a dance party on Saturday night. If you want to come back and get your groove on, that's just going to go down. When is it? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the same place it was last night. It's going to be right there. Uh, thank you. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for coming and spending money and getting to ask these guys all the most random shit that they could ever be asked. That's what's fun. That's what I like. And that's why I hope that you guys continue to keep and stay with us for years to come. Bless you guys. Have a great night.